Horby. And KD3 wisely choosing Pikachu. KD3 has a ton of characters, but yeah. uh, for this matchup, I'm sure he's most comfortable with Pikachu. I'm sure he could do some damage with his Jigglypuff. Yeah, but I think a lot of people feel uncomfortable in the Puff Wars and the, like the Floaty Wars. Yeah. I think Pikas who are good at this matchup like this matchup. Yes, definitely. And KD3 is no chum. But Corby actually, I mean, we saw how close he made it against Stranded. Uh, took a game. He's, he's hard to beat. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a lot of spacing. Nice grab. Oh. Oh, nice. I was expecting something. Maybe like a. So smart for Horby to go out there. Really nice. So Horby up a stock. Ooh. But Katie tacking on the percentage, so this is a really huh? nice grab in the edge. Good trade. For KD3. For K well, <laughs> it's got to be good for somebody. All right, Horby's not going to mm. come back from this. All right, totally even. Really dangerous. Ooh. I thought he was going to have... Oh, there we got the up tilt. But teching off the platform really important. Do you tech in place or do you tech... Like, do you want to roll? Roll. You have to mix it up, but what's most important is that you get off the platform. Mm. Because if you're on the platform and your roll options basically get nullified, because then you're just like rolling into the edge of the platform and they'll tech chase you effortlessly. Mm. And KD3 did that perfectly. So I'm sorry, Horby. Wait, no, yeah, KD, whatever. <laughs> oh, good up tilt. Weak nair, back air. Oh. But Good stuff. <laughs> Good wait. All right, let's see his edge guard. Wow, Horby just weaves up and down. It was really nice. Horby just has like really good positioning right below the ledge to actually get that grab with one of his. Oh reverse. wow! The reverse forward and knife. the di onto the stage. Oh uh, no! Not what Horby was looking for. Oh, that was, an that was so trade. It smart. Saves his life. Yeah. Oh wow! What was that? He was trying to pivot up to it, I think. And but then he just pivot, pivot, pivot nair. Into getting nair. Oh my god, that was. I, I hope someone's clipping these. Nice. I think that was down angled, and then. Oh, Whoa! it's perfect. Wow. Okay, so Horby's got that eight percent. Right. Well, that eight percent—that's all that counts, you know, except for winning. But if Horby wins this, this will definitely set a tone for the rest of the set. Yep. So I think KD3 being the stronger player, you know, Horby really needs to win this one. Who says Katie's stronger? Well, nice he, he definitely has the results. I know, but Horby just doesn't travel much. Let's see it. That's true. Edge guard situation. Nice. Oh, he wait, so I, smart. I was so sure he was going to do a nair, but he just waited oh, and got no. the position he wanted. But yes. can he get this edge guard? Nice. Oh, my God. Horby is just playing on an insane level right now. Can you finish this off? Katie's dead to anything oh, here. Oh, he thought. But it's Pikachu, so uh -oh, just one uh -oh. combo. Nice, nice. Oh, push off and oh, in the nair. That's it. Wow, Horby let's go Horby. One. Really, really close game. That was really close. They were both playing really well. So we got Hammerheart uh, training. All right. KD3, Byro with Luffy. Oh, Horby. Thanks, man.
You should watch this. This is like good. This is like you, wanna, you wanna commentate? You wanna be a, you wanna be like our third commentator? So I think couldn't overhear all the all the coaching, but I think Fire just saying keep it up. You know, Hank just keep doing what he's doing. And I'm sure Hammerheart is Hank telling Hammerheart. Katie Three the ins and outs of this matchup. Right. And <laughs> It's a little so let so let's see if Corby can keep the pressure up. This is a really tough matchup for Kirby. But he, I mean, it's a specialty, and he, you know that up tilt. <laughs> I don't think he's I, going for no, that. I think that was a was deliberate that? tech chase when he saw that oh. roll into the side of the plat. I love. Like I don't know, I don't think he's doing on purpose, but those reverse forward smashes are hilarious. Battle for space. Yeah, really careful, but they come so close to each other so many times without a connecting hit. Oh, uh, good way. This is a standard Can't. Pika combo. Can he DI oh. out of it? No. No. And that's act yeah. that's sad too because that's one where if you if you don't DI away, that actually just barely doesn't kill most mm. of the time. I'm not sure from the, the starting position they were at, at actually, but nice pressure. So I think that maybe one of the things that Fire, uh, that uh, Hammerheart told KD3 is that he's too close to the ledge, and he, I think he's taking top plat a little more when he's recovering because he's getting hit by Horby's really good recoveries on the nair. Wow, it's the uh, slow drop down air, and it, the, it was a really good connection. Horby can't come back from that. So now down two stocks. No. I think if you, I think if he'd done a four throw, yeah, it, was it, would, it was, it was dead. Yeah, that but was. But that dead. should kill him, assuming that. Okay, nice. Nice interception. Yeah. All right, down one stock down. for Corby. KD3 yeah. has a lot of momentum Ooh. and a lot of misty cans. <laughs> Shield break. Shield okay. break. All so right. we saw. Please do that cutter. Please we do the cutter. We saw like, Corby mess okay. this up against Stranded's insane DI. Let's see what he can do against KD3. Good, great. Oh follow. my God! And just like that, Corby ties, Corby it, up. ties it up. If Corby goes up 2-0 in the series, then it's going to be so difficult. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. And then up tilt. He, oh. Never rooted for a Kirby so hard. <laughs> mm. oh. oh, that really bad. Can he get back? Corby. He's going to have to cut her, and he'll probably die. Oh, but can he per – oh, wow. Or you can clearly see Horby's DI was – Insane on that, but yeah, there was nothing, nothing you could do. Oh, really good zip that by KD3. But we've seen Horby can just tie this up so quickly. Yep, both being really careful. So close. Either one of them could have put out a back air. Horby DIs, but then he ends up on the yeah. flat. Yeah, I don't know. Like, oh! Ooh. KD3 was really hungry for that follow-up. Oh. I think Corby could have done one of those uh, call-out F smashes there. Yep. Nice. Oh. That's a good mix-up. You know, he's, he it's essentially the conditioning where he always runs up and jumps back. Mm -hmm. So he runs up, just jumps forward near. There, yeah. It really throws him off. Ooh. Ooh. Good spacing with that two, tail. Two in a row, the tail just barely stuffing... Hank's attack. Yeah, I think those are like the frame per, like he gets it on the exact frame that he's looking for. I don't think it's that close. The disjointed hitbox is pretty stupid. Oh, man. Really tense. Either player is liable to lose their stock in an instant. That, and that's it. here we go. All right, oh, so last baby. stock, but Horby with a lot of percent, he's going to have to be really careful. He can't take a back air. He yeah. can't take oh, a grab. But he knew that. Oh, the up tilt. What's his follow up? Oh. No. But he knew KD3 was going to be aggressive on that That's ability. It. Oh, no. KD3 patient, pivot away, grab. That's the game. 1 1. Great play by both of them. Yeah. These la this game and the last game were some of the best sets I've seen. Yeah. 
And Horby clearly shown he has the potential to take this with a game win already and with a, a pretty significant error that cost him stock in that game. So yeah. let's see what he can do. Just tighten up in game three. Or, I mean, like you said, KD3 would be considered the better player if he just decides to turn it up. He could mm -hmm. run away with the whole thing as well. So, But Hor Horby is just not giving him any opportunities to – he's th just spacing him out. He's really doing – like I think Hor the best thing Horby is doing is using those nares to just – completely throw throw KD3 off. And his, his recoveries have been awesome. Yeah, his recoveries are really quite special. That he, he makes it seem like Kirby has the ability to sweet spot the ledge from below in the way that Mario does that's all, like really hard to guard. Mm -hmm. But Kirby really can't do that. It just Kirby can. Yeah. Both players being very patient. That was so close. Mm. Ooh. Up tilt. What's the follow up? Oh. Nice. Oh. Wow. Incredible recovery by KD3. And now Horby is in a really difficult spot. Good DI, but yeah. he's not going <gasps> to. Oh. Oh, oh my, my God. God. He gives up the ledge. Yeah, just like micro frame. Still a tough spot for Horby. And he makes, oh, oh no, he would have made it back. Oh, oh my god, the DI! Wow. Other Kirby's don't come back like that. No. Oh, that forward smash. All right. Yeah. Forby not out of this stock. Yeah, but a little bit of a difficult percentage. You know, no oh, up tilt combos. Sure. No grab kills. So, tough. Mm. And that's probably going to be it. Yeah. Still, it's not like the percentage is bad. It just means he needs a certain. There oh, we go. Just calls him out. Just knows that the forward smash is like one of the best moves in the game. Even game, even set. Nice up tilt. All right. What's the fuck? Oh. Tries to pivot but accidentally up smashes. It can be hard to get those really fast. Oh, yeah. It would have been nice in that situation, though. Yep. Probably would have gotten the, the stock. Interesting. I think there's probably a missed input. Nice DI. And then, you know, you wonder how is he going to get back to the ledge? But like, when he gets hit. <laughs> Good drop, and just too far away. Ooh. Nice. Can you follow up? Mm. KD3 smart Ooh, to reset the neutral. Wow. But and Horby calls him out, but relentless. he works out of the wrong way. I mean, he had to guess. Yeah. The good thing about guessing is there's no hit lag after the forward smash, so like you can just, you know, it's okay for him to make a mistake. How does and he a, do it? A perfect recovery. But, Ooh. yeah. KD3 knows his Pikachu combos. KD3. Ooh. Being a little more aggressive with that. Nice. <laughs> nice. Almost uh, even, almost. but he's going to need something. Oh, wow. What Not a that. recovery. Oh, uh, those zip zaps. Oh, oh, so smart. Baited him. I don't know if he did that purposely. But, oh, that's and it. that's perfecto. All right. Kirby with some solid percent on him, but... uh back to even game. Ooh. Not where you want to start the stock. That may in fact be it. Mm, yeah. Smart. But we've seen Corby just been able to tie it up so so many times. It's yeah. pretty much been, no one's had a two stock lead. No, it's I don't think anyone's ever had one. <gasps> so close. It was a good combo. I don't know if he could, how he could have finished it. Yeah. Might actually have been cutter. Ooh. Ooh. This time, KD3 doesn't get tricked, mm, and that's going to be really hard. I thought he was going to get the last nair, but, oh, but I know. I, every time, I'm surprised. He's the LD of Kirby's.
on edge guard of all. No. What? <sighs> nah. Yeah. It's that that unfortunate as cool and as that di is. It's uh. Yeah. You need to get that the diagonal. Yeah. You need the, exactly. You get the up di down. and it's just like your meat. Yeah. You yeah just take it. But I. So that was the only instance where there was a, a two stock lead. It's gone down to last stock every game. Yeah. Uh, I think Corby needed that game, but he just needs to stay strong. He's been playing on fire. KD3 also is just capitalizing on every opportunity yeah. that he can get. I think it was a very significant moment in that game when Corby ran up. He tried to do the same thing that he had done before, which was look like he's going to run up and jump back, but then double down, jump forward in neutral air to connect with KD3 who was expecting him to run back. And this time, KD3 just ran the other way, pivoted and grabbed and killed him. And that really, like that stock, yeah. was not what Horby was hoping to get out of that move. Well, even so, this is still anyone set, even though Horby's down a game. Let's see what happens. I wonder what Shears had to say. Shears, you know, he coached me when I played Skyfire, and he gave me some good advice. It was a Falcon Kirby matchup, so can't bash Shears anymore because he <laughs> helped me win. I can't bash Shears anymore, well. Mike. <laughs> Ooh, I like that Nair, but yeah. because not not really letting. I think he knows that. Oh no, that's that's the exact situation that KD3 should not be in. I think that fastball was a little bit too far for Horby. Mm. He could have snapped to the ledge a second <gasps> before that. I th I feel like if Horby actually like faded back, he could have done the, the cutter on Pika. Like yeah. Oh. That was. Very fast. Ooh. Oh, nice. So smart. And Nair just stays out forever, and now the tech. No. He waited to see which way he was going to tech, but then mm -hmm. it was too slow. Ooh, that was so. Oh, there but we he go. died. He's going to make it. Wow. Okay, that was he so smart. And oh, but Horby should have just held on to the ledge a little longer. I think he wanted to, like. Oh, mm. and once again, like a miss. Mm. And he's oh. not coming back from it. It's so unfortunate. K KD3 to see. really. I, I, don't, I don't think he wants a game five. I think he just wants to finish this off. Well, then he shouldn't get up tilted. <laughs> the crowd is silent. Really good up air just as he's oh. landing, and that is. Oh, not wow. Good. Or if Horby recovered before when when he when he made the error, he was just hovering there. Last stock for Horby, his only chance to turn it around. It's a good back air. Oh, and that that's where I thought he should have forward smash like that. That was. I, I don't know if he was close enough. That it, it extends so far though. Oh, oh no. and this might be it. Horby can recover, but KD3 has to mm, miss. That that is. And that's the it. game. But what a great nice set by both of them. By KD3. Nice KD3 Horby. definitely woke up at the at the end that last game, but Horby gave it a really great show. He yeah. was, uh, and that that will end his tournament. Yeah, but, but fantastic job. Great job. Really fun set. Probably the most fun uh, Kirby Pika game I've seen. <laughs>